Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's MarketGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video, this time around a brand new safety razor. This one comes courtesy of Sheldon Quinn from Global Shave Clubs International. This is the Cappuccino, in keeping with his coffee themed safety razors. The Cappuccino, this is a solid brass razor, long handled, heavy weight, wonderful heft. It has an Edwin Jagger style razor head to it. And this is a mild, smooth performer. Really, really nice razor. I was very, very impressed with it. Again, a lot of nice heft, great balance. The balance is right about there. So it's got nice balance. If you have large hands, the handle is very much accommodates your hand. Uh, as I say, this thing really handles well, maneuvers well because of its size and weight and this particular razor head. I've had some great shaves with it. We're gonna shave with it again this morning. Um, really, really nice. Has a very elegant business-like uh, stately uh, appearance, doesn't it? Just really, really nice. This black coating has a very, very tight knurling, so it uh, does not slip out of your hand. Um, really like this razor. I'm very, very impressed by it. So again, we're gonna shave with it. It is a three-piece razor, so you have this nice heavyweight brass handle right here, and you have a base plate and cap. We're gonna shave with it. We're gonna use a Gillette Wilkinson Sword blade this morning with it. I already had a nice hot shower, and I started off with Pacific Shaving Company's pre-shave exfoliating wash. Um, I don't always use this, but I decided to use it this morning. Nice touch, kind of soften the beard. Uh, before uh, the actual shave. So I thought it was a good first step. You might want to check it out. Um, I like it. It's a nice product. Again, I don't use it every morning, but there are some mornings where um, I think I need that extra step. So I'll go ahead and use it. Uh, we're going to kick things off with Vikings Blade Pre-Shave Oil. This is their sandalwood and red cedar scent. Very subtle, nice and slick, lightweight, not thick and gooey and sticky. Just really spreads evenly. Gives a nice, slick, base to your shaving soap. Shaving soap we're going to be using this morning is the Barista Shaving Soap from Global Shave Clubs International. You can get this stuff at shavemama.com, 30blades.com. You can find these products up there. The Barista show Soap comes in a bar, a rectangular bar, and what I did was, because it's glycerin based, I melted it and I fit it into this, this bowl right here. This is an IKEA bowl. See that? A Kia bowl. This was about four bucks. It's a stainless steel bowl and uh, plenty of room there. Fits nicely in the hand and plenty of room there for um, a nice puck of soap. You can melt it and just pour it in there, let it set up. And that's what I did. And uh, the only downside is the base is not, is not too wide. So if you put a heavy uh, shaving brush in there, it probably will tilt one way or the other there. But other than that, it's fairly stable. Uh, so we're gonna use that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. We're also gonna be using my Game Changer Synthetic Brush from uh, AMAC, AMAC Game Changer Th Synthetic Brush. I'm looking forward to that. And we're gonna put some warm water in there. Actually, I'm gonna get some hot water and put it on top of this puck. Let that soften up just a little bit. A little bit of water though. Now we're going to put some warm water in the sink and get the brush in there. Okay, that's really good. Here's my game changer brush. Just going to let that soak in there a little bit. Okay, so post shave, we're going to finish up with uh, uh, my Osma alum bar. Guys, get an alum bar. These are great for post shave. It'll knock down any irritation you have, small nicks and cuts, that sort of thing. This is a must for post shave. I've recently come back to using this and uh, really probably one of the most essential tools to have in your shaving kit. Um, after that, we're gonna finish it up with some Pinot. <laughs> Pinot Aftershave by Clubman. Uh, you know, I've mangled this name as well. I've been saying Pinot and someone said, no, it's Pinot or Pinot. Well, okay, uh, I'm an American. I'm sorry, <laughs> it's the Americanization of a lot of these words. Um, so I'm going to be using Clubman uh, Pinot, and uh, I've taken it and I've uh, placed it into one of uh, 
empty uh, aftershave bottles I have, glass. This was uh, Avon Wild Country that I've run out of in this particular bottle, but I wanted glass, so um, it's a little easier to handle. It's a nice bottle, and uh, from what I understand, aftershave will keep longer in glass, so that's why I moved it over. Uh, and I'll also probably finish off with a little bit of Avon Wild Country aftershave balm, if uh, anything, for my chrome dome. All right, so uh, we're all set here, so uh, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave. All right, all we're going to need is probably three or four pumps. One, two, three, four. Uh, the uh, pre-shave oil. Okay, very nice. Let me just wipe off my mirror here a little bit. Do a little maintenance. All right, sorry about that. All right, so now we have the pre-shave oil on. We're going to dump the excess water out of this bowl here. I'm going to get my brush. I'm going to give it a little bit of a ring. And we're going to go ahead and load it up and build a little bit of a lather here. This stuff lathers like crazy, like no one's business. This is really, really good stuff. And I'm going to do um, a little bit of brush loading here in the bowl, and then I'm going to finish up with some face lathering. I mean, look how much I've got right here. Wow. Look at that. And it's got that nice coffee scent to it. Really very nice. Now, again, whenever I use brushes, soaps, creams, I tend to use the natural hair brushes, Badger and Boar, with creams, and with hard soaps, I like to use the synthetic brushes. I just think synthetic brushes work better with hard soaps. That's my personal preference. Some guys probably use a Boar brush across the board, but um, I find the synthetic works best with um, Hard soaps and look, look at this. Look at how, look at how the barista soap has just, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we got more than enough here. So we're gonna go ahead and paint it on, do a face lather as well, because I got a lot here. Wow. Good stuff. Wow, that's nice. I mean, that is a good thick carpet of shaving lather. I mean, it's overflowing the brush. I got to scrape some off in order to get control of it. Wow. I really didn't have to do a face lather. Just want to make sure I get all the areas covered. I tend to do a little overkill when I lather. Oh, well. I guess it's because I enjoyed the process. Okay, boy, that is one good protective coating from this stuff. Okay, oh good, put the brush back in the bowl and it didn't tip, so that one worked out well. Okay, so we're really gonna let that sit on there right now. And i uh, been reading where some guys say that you should let the lather sit on your face for about 20, 30 seconds before you actually do the shave. Let it moisten the whisker, that sort of thing. So we're just gonna load the blade now to allow that process to take place. So here we go with this. I'm going to put the uh, blade right there like that. And I'll tell you, the precision on this razor head is right on the money. I mean, the blade just sits in there very, very precisely. You do not have to nudge this blade at all. You don't have to align it or nudge it or anything. There it is. We're all loaded up. Nice and evenly balanced, nice and straight. Really terrific. All right, so we're going to go ahead and heat this up, both sides. And then give it a little swirl, bring it to temperature. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. 
Very nice and mild. And very, very efficient. Boy, the razor does all the work. The weight of this handle is wonderful. Barista soap is offering a lot of nice protection. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. Wow, that was a nice first pass. Did a great job in knocking down, you know, the initial beard. And I got plenty of soap here. One thing about glycerin-based soaps is they like water. So you might have to add a little bit of water here to this, but we have water on the face, so that'll help as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do, oh yeah, that's nice. Just get a little bit of more, just, get, just add a little bit more water if you see it's setting up a little too much. Uh, with glycerin based soaps that tends to happen but add a little water and they just spring back to life and there is so much here I mean look how much I have I have so much and even on the brush like I say I gotta scrape it off in order to Make sure I'm applying it correctly. It's just overflowing with lather. This soap is really, really spectacular. Okay. All right. We're going to do our second pass east to west across the grain. Okay, second pass done, let's rinse. That second pass with this razor really is the money pass. Very, very nice. I'm good for the office right now if I want to go to the office and just, I mean, I mean, I got all the areas there. If I want to do a very, very light cleanup on the third pass, I could do that. So you know what, let's do that. I'm gonna add a little bit of more water to my brush here. Just gonna work that up. A little bit, work that out rather with a brush a little bit, okay, and just do a nice light pass. Wow, it's a again, it's a crazy amount of soap from the barista uh, soap. It's just a crazy amount of lather from the barista soap is what I meant to say. That is just amazing. All right, so this is the third pass. We're gonna go south to north against the grain. Very light because this razor was very efficient. And did a great job on the first two passes.
I mean, that's it. I'm done. I didn't really need to do a third pass, but it's a nice light third pass just in case I did miss maybe something here and there. When you're shaving on camera, that can happen sometimes because um, you're talking and shaving at the same time. So, okay, let's rinse. All right. All right, very nice. Really nice. I'm gonna do my two final rinses. One warm, one cold, right from the tap. Boy, that's nice. Here's my warm water rinse. Wow, nice. Okay, we're gonna do my final cold water rinse here. Close the pores. Very nice, I've got a clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Very nice, really, really nice. Wow, that was terrific shave, nice. My Elm Bar, Osmo, I like these, made from a solid block of alum. So they cut it from a larger block and they machine it down to this size. So it's solid through and through. It's not compressed or molded. So it, uh, I think it has a better feel on the face. That's just me. I like it this way. Run through some cold water. Here we go. a good shave because there's no stinging. Maybe a little zing here and there. Okay, but certainly no stinging at all. That was nice. What you want to do with your alum bar is pat it dry get the excess moisture off of it, and then let it air dry. I have my alum bar, let me show you right here. I have some, well I'll, sh well, I'll show you that too. I have my alum bar in a little dish like this. It just sits on my, sits on my um, counter here. And I have some broken pieces from another alum bar that I've used for a number of years. I just, Leave it there, I don't want to throw them out. But anyhow, that's my alum bar right there. This was um, Art of Shading alum bar that I had for a couple of years. Finally decided to kind of break, but uh, this one is gonna last every bit as long. But yeah, just get a little dish like this and then you know pat it dry and then put it in, put it in the dish like that, let it air dry. So I just have it right there on my counter with all my other shaving stuff. Okay, so we let that set up. So that little bit of interlude probably long enough. So again, we're going to use Pinot from my own glass bottle here. A little bit there like that. Nice. Very nice. And I'm just going to use a little bit, because it's so hot outside, I don't need a lot. A little bit here upstairs. It's in the 90s already, like this. Don't need anything on the face right now because of the warm weather. So, great shave. Wow, that was wonderful. That was really, really wonderful. The um, cappuccino from uh, shavemile.com, 30blades.com, Global Shave Clubs International and uh, Sheldon Quinn. Really, really nice razor. Close, smooth, maneuverable, really, really nice. Nice weight, nice heft, nice balance. Nice, mild, smooth shave. Cappuccino from Global Shave Clubs International, shavemama.com, 30blades.com. Check it out along with the barista soap. Um, really, really terrific. Uh, okay, hey, thanks very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll have links below for all this stuff. Remember that when you click on a link and make a purchase uh, at Amazon, you're supporting this channel. So thank you very much for that. Comment below, let me know. 
uh, please subscribe. Uh, hit that bell so it'll give you a yell when I post a new video. Um, check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.